Hello, and welcome to the House Call Pro QuickBooks Online integration video series. I'm Tomas Waples. I'm one of the managers on the data operations team. Um, and in these next few videos, I will, along with my team, uh, be showing you some of the basic building blocks of what goes into the House Call Pro QuickBooks Online integration. Now, of course, the first thing that we need to do in order to get set up is actually connect the two systems. Now, before we do that, I want to have a quick word about maybe who should be doing this initial connection. Generally speaking, we recommend that the owner uh, of, the, of the business be the one connecting House Call Pro and QuickBooks. The integration, it, it stays attached to the user who initially set it up. Now, it is possible, of course, to make changes, to make alterations down the road, but this is the kind of thing you want to do it once and be able to, to set it and not have to think about it too much. So we generally suggest, you know, it stay with the owner um, or someone who's, you know, pretty senior in the company, someone who's definitely going to be sticking around. Now, the next thing, let me just share my screen here, is to come into our House Call Pro account. Now, this is probably pretty similar to what your test account or what your your account, excuse me, is going to look like. This is a test, one of our test accounts, of course. But when you come into yours for the first time, you're probably going to see not too much information. That's just fine. That's part of why we're doing this, right? So we can bring in information from QuickBooks. So what we're going to do, we are going to click on this little grid up here. Now, just a quick note, if for any reason when you log in, this is not the screen you see, you can always just click dash over here, bring you right back. But we're going to click on this little grid in the upper right hand corner and go down to our app store. Now, there's all kinds of great stuff here in the app store, and definitely I suggest taking your time looking through it. But today, for what we're going to do, we're just going to come straight down here to QuickBooks Online and learn more. And of course, we're going to connect. Now, we are uh, going to go through a two-step process here, connecting and importing. Now, it is entirely possible to simply connect. Um, if you don't want to bring any data in from QuickBooks, or if uh, maybe you have a brand new business, you don't have any data to bring in, we can simply connect. And I'll talk a little bit more about that as we move through as well as what happens if we decide to import. So we're going to connect to QuickBooks Online. Now, what it's doing here is recognizing that I'm already signed in to our test QuickBooks account. If you were not, it would bring you to a screen where you would just sign in with your QuickBooks user ID. Now, very strongly suggested here again, that, the, uh, that it be the owner's uh, the owner's user, excuse me, in QuickBooks Online that we're forming this connection with, but it does absolutely have to be an admin. So best case scenario, it's the owner, but necessary case, right, we want to make sure it's the admin. Once we've done that, we're connected. The connection between Housecall Pro and QuickBooks is active. Information will flow from Housecall to QuickBooks, and we'll talk more about that in some of our later videos, the mechanics of how that works. But if all you're doing is connecting, you're done. Um, you can skip to the end of the video where we talk a little bit about connecting certain accounts, uh, but you can uh, you are excused from this next, next little bit when we talk about the import. For those of you who are importing though, and, and I suspect that's probably most of you, let's go ahead and talk about what we do here. So after we hit import, House Call Pro is going to ask if we want all of our data, from, uh, from, from QuickBooks, or if we want it to be within a specific date range. If we want that specific date range, what it's going to look like, or, uh, what it's going to look at, excuse me, are customers, tax rates, invoices, products and services, uh, what we call business units, but what is of course classes in QuickBooks Online from the selected date until today. And this is gonna look at, of course, modified. Right. So if we're using a customer heavily, even if we created them 10 years ago, uh, but only suggested uh, only uh, selected the last year, it'll still, of course, bring that customer in. I'm going to select all time uh, just so we can bring everything into this test account. 
The next thing it's going to ask about is our customer structure. Now, I'm going to talk a lot more about data in a later video, but I do want to talk a little bit about this here now because this is pretty important. House Call Pro uh, is set up to have a customer, of course, as well as a parent-child relationship. What we do not have in House Call Pro is a parent-child grandchild relationship or below that, like you might have in QuickBooks. Now, uh, just for some kind of real world examples, this main customer, you know, this is your standard residential customer, ring, ring, hey, I got, I got a busted pipe, I need you to come out and take a look, right? Just regular old customer. Parent, child, we see a lot of property management type situations fall in here, right? You've got property manager, ABC property management, right? And then you've got the individual houses that ABC property management handles. Um, that would be, of course, your parent and your child. Now, this parent-child-grandchild situation, it's a little less common. We, send, we tend to see it with uh, larger commercial operations um, or potentially new build. Right. Maybe we've got, you know, the the corporation, the, the owner that owns five apartment buildings. Right. So we got the owner up here. We got each one of those five apartment buildings underneath him. And then we have got all those individual units underneath the apartment building or maybe new build. Right. We've got the the builder up here and, and underneath her. We have the different neighborhoods that her company is working for. Right. Uh, or working on. And then we have the individual houses in those neighborhoods. If we have those situations, I'm going to suggest you go ahead and hop over to our data video, um, simply because we're going to talk a little bit more about potential solutions, what we need to be aware of, what we need to watch out for. But those third level customers, they will not come in in this import. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I've only got this regular customer, and I'm going to begin my import. Simple as that. The import is now happening. Once it is completed, you're going to get an email uh, to the email address of the user, right, who, who set this up. And that is going to outline kind of what happened in the import, right? Um, if there were any third level customers that we couldn't bring in, if anything happened that we need to be aware of, it's kind of going to give you the, the breakdown of here's where we need to have a little bit of attention, right? <clears throat> that's going to come out in that email. So please do pay attention to it. If you see something in that email and you're like, oh, hey, I need to address that and I'm not quite sure how, right? You're going to come down here and smash this blue chat bubble. Um, it's going to give you the opportunity to say, hey, I want to send a message and we can help you out with, uh, with where you need to go from there. Now, once you click finish here, it's going to bring you to your QuickBooks settings page. As we can see, this import is still pending. But once it's complete, we're going to see uh, some information about customers, invoices, price book, tax rate, all the things that come in, right? Here in our banking tab, if you have set up your My Money page in House Call Pro, if you're going to be using our credit card processor, our ACH processor, um, you know, uh, wise, tax, wise Tax, Stripe Capital, any of those things, right? You're going to want to come over to this banking tab and choose your bank account, right? Uh, that's going to be the account in QuickBooks that, of course, corresponds to the bank account that you've set up over here in My Money. Last but not least are going to be some account details. Uh, we're just lining out some information again here around how many tax rates there are in house call, how many there are in QuickBooks, whether they're linked, some things like this. Um, this is a test account, which is, of course, why these numbers look the way they do. Uh, but in, um, in your account, they will look very different, um, as well as uh, some information around the connection. Now, that is going to wrap up our first video uh, for that initial connection. Below, you'll see posted some articles as well as the rest of those videos that we talked about looking at data and then, of course, how information is going to flow from House Call Pro back over into QuickBooks. So for now, you should be all set. Take a look at some of those later videos. 
and we will talk to you again soon.